everyone. Hi. I think I'm live now. Um, hi, I am Dr. Janet Rourke. I am the essential oil vet. I'm a veterinarian in Central Texas, just south of Austin, between Austin and San Antonio. And I um, am your essential oil vet. So I come on live here every Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time to answer a few of your questions, your burning questions, preferably, you know, compliant questions. <laughs> Not always, but um, we, and, and so I did a post uh, just about an hour ago asking what your questions were. We do have a couple of people that posted the questions in there, so we'll answer those. But if you're hopping on live and you can see me and hear me, please let me know. Comment in the comment section. I think I can see those that you can see me and hear me okay. And if you have any questions, write your comment. Uh, write your question as a comment in the chat um, in the comment section here of this video. So uh, just one really quick announcement that I am super duper excited about. Um, and I haven't even done a post about it yet because it is brand new. And that is that we have created an amazing downloadable resource for you. One page quick guide, uh, the um, arthritis and joint support roadmap for dogs. Okay, it's so really specifically for dogs, but you can extrapolate the information and utilize it for other species as well. Um, for those of you, because almost every single week in here, somebody asks me about joint health arthritis, dogs slowing down, dogs having a harder time getting up, dogs having a harder time jumping onto the couch, dog, dogs having a harder time going up and down stairs. All of those things are very real. It's a very real part of our dogs getting injured or getting older. And we wanna help them. We wanna help them have the best quality of life for as long as possible. And so we created a free resource for you. Um, I put the link in the, dis uh, the um, uh, discussion of this particular, um, what is it? The, the description, uh, the description of this video is, is, it's right in there. So go ahead and grab that link. Um, and if you have any questions, comment in the chat and we will answer some of those, but let me answer a couple of the ones that were previously posted first. Um, and the first one is from Norma Falconer. I gifted a good friend, an adaptive touch to help her with sleep issues. And it has helped her a ton, but her cat loves to loves it and tries to lick it off of her, is that, is it safe for cats? So I love this question so much because, and what I love about our essential oils is that they do, they are safe for animals. Um, and that particular one is very safe for cats and can actually help them a lot too, because if her person is, is stretched out or is having sleep issues, it's possible that she is also um, because our animals tend to absorb kind of what's going on with us as well, right? So I love that she likes it. And and yes, every single oil that is in that particular blend is safe for cats. And it is um, okay if she does not just a little bit of it. Now, that being said, I don't encourage people to let their animals lick the oils off of them. The, the main reason being on being that you put it on yourself for a reason, you want it to work. And if it, you just wash it all off as soon as you put it on, whether it's washed off with soap and water or an animal licking it off, then you're not gonna get the full benefit of that oil. Okay, so that's one reason. The other one is that, you know, we don't necessarily want them ingesting a ton of oil um, as well, especially those little kitties and things like that. If she's worried about that, she can apply it in an area that she covers up um, with a shirt or some socks or something like that uh, before um, getting into bed. So, or even when she's in bed, putting it in an area where um, the cat isn't gonna get under the covers to lick it, okay? So that's the main thing um, with that. And I, I, do, I do discourage people from letting their pets lick them too much um, just because it is not super sanitary and um, uh, we, we want we want you to have all the benefits of the oils as well. Okay, so the next question is from Louise LeClerc. What oils would be used for a dog that's very itchy, has itchy ears and feet? We actually have another free downloadable resource for you with a great 
um, lineup of things that you can use for that. Um, and that is essentialoilvet.com slash allergy PDF, all one word. PDF is because it's a PDF. Um, so go ahead and grab that as well for a full rundown of why and how allergies work and what you can do to help prevent them and um, manage them. Allergies are not something that is cured ever, just so you guys know. It is managed and you can do a lot with diet, gut health, doing digestive enzymes, omegas, um, probiotics, super, super helpful and diet. Did I mention diet? Also the food that you feed, very, very important. <laughs> I know I'm being a little facetious here, but it's because it is so important. So, so that what you feed really, really matters. And if you're feeding a kibble, your animal is actually very likely to actually have allergies just because, uh, highly processed foods are not great for maintaining health in the long run. Okay. So those are some things that can help. We have a great, um, great downloadable for you, Louise. Um, oils that can help with itchiness are, um, lavender, rum and chamomile. I like to use lemon, lavender, and peppermint with dogs, as well as frankincense and copaiba. So all of those are great options. You can use some internally, um, as long as it has that supplement facts label on the bottle, you want to make sure it has that to give internally. Um, and, uh, you can dilute it and use it topically as well for something super, super easy. You can actually use the after sun spray on the paws, um, after you clean them and that can help with itchy feet. You can spray a little bit of that actually on a cotton ball and wipe the inside of the ears as well for itchy ears. Um, and after you clean them, of course, you want, you always want to apply these things to a clean and dry animal. Okay. So great questions, um, that were previously posted and Louise, I think that was your question. So got that one. Um, Ooh, Yoreli Anguiano. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but is asking about, uh, a cat that has, um, some loose stool and what you can use for that. I actually really like the kids tamer blend for that. Um, it's already super diluted for cats and you can just rub it right on their belly. You can also use the Digest on Touch um, or cardamom. Cardamom is actually really helpful for that. Diffusing some ginger might be helpful as well um, for that. And you can actually give cats a little bit of pumpkin if it's if she's still eating. Um, a little bit of pumpkin it mix in with some wet food. It can kind of help with things as well. Getting to the cause of that, maybe um, if it's ongoing, uh, going to your veterinarian, getting a fecal, um, getting some diagnostics done to make sure you know what you're dealing with specifically can be really helpful as well. Um, okay, oops. Oh, she's putting it on her pillow for a longer. Okay, perfect, Norma, that's awesome. Um, let's see, Brenda says, my cat starts chewing on her skin late July, early August, what oil can I help her? Yeah, so lots of questions about allergies and itchy skin and itchy ears and itchy pods today. So grab that downloadable resource um, that is free if you want to dig into it a little bit more, which I would really encourage you to because, again, this is a lifelong problem that is managed, and the more you know, the better. Then go ahead and join the EO Vet membership. It is $27. You can join for just one month. You don't have to have recurring payments or anything like that unless you want to. And go watch that allergies webinar. It's already posted. It's already in there. You can go. It's worth the $27 just for that one webinar, I promise. But then there's um, more things that you can do as well. Um, okay, Janie says, I have an older rescue. I took her in uh, two years. She had a huge gaping wound on her right thigh. With the help from the vet, we managed to heal her. Now, two years later, she has started limping and holding that leg up. The vet can't find anything wrong. I only um, have turmeric, frankincense and copaiba internally and deep blue, um, but nothing's working at all. So I would say we probably need some additional diagnostics for that as well. And to really try to figure out what's going on if she's limping, it could be that, um, she, it's a new thing. Um, if it's her back leg, she might've torn a ligament or something like that recently from running around. Um, 
It really is hard to say without actually seeing the animal, but those would be the oils that I would use. And then of course, topically, you can use Aroma Touch as well. So diluted Aroma Touch topically to help with that. Um, and then um, definitely some additional diagnostics from your veterinarian to try and figure out what exactly is going on. Um, and you can do the turmeric duo if necessary for old for larger dogs. Um, the turmeric frankincense copaiba can be given internally, like you said. Um, and you can also do things like marjoram, Siberian fir, um, lemongrass topically as well. Diluted, of course. And then Jesse's asking about chronic diarrhea in a horse. So for that, you always want to give, um, I actually re really like a product called BioSponge from Platinum Performance. So Platinum Performance makes this product called BioSponge, especially if it's an older horse with chronic diarrhea. Um, you might have to work on the how much you give. You might have to up it a little bit and then decrease it a little bit. Some of those horses need to be on it long term, but it's a product called BioSponge. It's really, really good. And... Um, yeah, um, so so um, I would definitely do that. You can do digestin internally as well or topically to try and help as well. Uh, fiber is really helpful, helpful, especially if it's an older horse. And then Janie says it's the same leg from the injury. Um, she's approximately 13 years old. Okay, just because it's the same leg doesn't mean it's related to the injury. It might be, but it might not be. So that's that's kind of what I was trying to, to, to get at there, Janie. Um, but if she's 13 years old, it could be arthritis. It could be, um, it probably is arthritis, especially if it was injured. It's probably a little bit more prone to having arthritis in that leg. So downloading that arthritis roadmap is going to be super, super helpful for you as well. So um, definitely if she's 13, I would get her on some glucosamine, chondroitin if she's not on that already, um, and um, some of those other things that we recommend in that roadmap. Um, JC. Oh, he's nine and a half. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So not, not an older horse at all. So yeah, we get this, like the reason why I said that is a lot of senior horses do get this. I, we call it like old man diarrhea. It's, it's like basically fecal water syndrome. And, um, and, uh, we can, um, we can definitely do, do a, not quite so much with those guys, but with a younger horse, absolutely trying to, trying to figure out what's, going on with him, getting him on some bio sponge, nip, you know, getting some diagnostics to make sure we're not dealing with something like salmonella or something like that and um, going from there. So great questions today, you guys. I'll be back next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, be sure to download the arthritis and joint support roadmap. Um, the link is in the description. And if you're not a part of the EOVET membership, I would encourage you to join it. Try it for just a month and see if you like it. Um, I answer questions there once a month. It is an amazing fountain of research, resources, and information. And um, you can uh, join for a month, six months, or a year. Um, and this month, we're going to be talking about arthritis as our special presentation on August 23rd. So that's a really great place to go um, if you really want to get to know me a little bit. And then, of course, if you don't have essential oils yet, please contact the person that shared this video with you. If that per person was me, then um, you can go to essentialoilvet.com slash get oils to figure out what oils you want to get for your animals and for yourself. If you're not sure, you can always reach out to me to um, come up with a personalized kit just for you and your needs. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.